Taming the Heart, Living Again Introduction If our heart is not tamed, we are spiritually dead. We haven't lived a life. To be alive is to walk with Christ every step of the way. Our hearts are not cultivated and most of the time allow evil. Our hearts have turned into hardened rocks, unable to feel compassion, goodwill, and empathy for the suffering of our neighbors on an everyday basis. As our lives stand right now, we are merely the servants of our hearts that control our lives being also controlled by a heartless world full of the lies of the evil one when jesus came to earth everything changed in our lives jesus had a sacred heart consubstantial with his father in heaven and with the holy spirit his heart was open and alive and full of light and the fire of the kingdom of heaven. If we are looking for the door to the kingdom of heaven, the heart of Jesus is waiting for us. The heart of the matter. Why is there so much evil in the world? Why is it that none of humanity's efforts to end war, death, and poverty succeed? Our heart is our inner man or our inner woman, the very center that controls our lives. If we live in a world that is full of darkness, it is because this is the condition of our human hearts. In Ephesians 1.21, the Apostle Paul affirms that minds were darkened because persistence in sin has damaging effects on the human faculties. The mind gradually darkens to a point of intellectual blindness and the heart gradually hardens and grows cold to the love and to the laws of God. Revised Standard Vision, Second Catholic Edition. We can consider the innate knowledge of God and His will as a kind of template in the human heart. The reason we do not see the glory of God is not that the template is faulty or that God's glory is not shining. The reason is hardness of heart. Ephesians 4.18 This hardness is a deep aversion to God and a corresponding love for self-exaltation. The heart is like a fortress that the enemy Satan seeks to enter and occupy. The most powerful weapon of Satan against our hearts is pride. Jesus was always aware of the importance of our hearts for our lives. We are currently the servants of our hearts. And Jesus mentioned it in his public ministry frequently. In John 14, 1 to 27, he admonished his followers saying, Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. The heart of man is inclined to evil by nature, which is why humanity has behaved as it has throughout history. The human heart needs to be changed through a new creation, the spiritual workmanship of the Holy God. John Rittenbaugh, 2017. Our human heart is a battleground between good and evil forces because it can be a temple of God, a dwelling place for the Holy Spirit, or a workshop of the devil with evil spirits trying to corrupt and control the human heart. L.W. DeLawrence, 2010 
The problem with the human heart is that it is sinful. Genesis 6, 5 to 6, Jeremiah 17, 9, Matthew 15, 19. And that to live a happy and blessed life, our heart has to be pure. A heartless world. The world we're living in right now is a world where the absence of love, compassion, and empathy for our neighbors and communities and our societies is, is extensive, poisonous, and destructive. In the world economy, competition is a mantra, and the most powerful corporations exploit all natural and human resources without mercy. During the past decade, the richest 1% had captured around half of all new wealth. The World Bank says we are likely seeing the biggest increase in global inequality and poverty since World War II. Entire countries are facing bankruptcy, with the poorest countries now spending four times more repaying debts to rich creditors than on healthcare. Worldwide, only four cents in every tax dollar now comes from taxes on the wealthy. Oxfam.org, Oxfam International, 2024. Our largest financial, political, pharmaceutical, and health organizations and business corporations, a good number of puppet dark politicians and world leaders, the mass media, the entertainment industry, and an ever-growing number of educational institutions worldwide are currently controlled by a small but powerful group of psychopaths trying to subjugate and control humanity through fear and disease and that work under their master Satan, the ruler of this world and the prince of lies. Davalos 2023, the godless land of the thousand idols, idols, page 11. We're already living in a heartless world. If you look at the declining number of Catholics in the Western world, you'll realize how our world is quickly turning into a godless one. The world secular no longer seems to be enough to describe how the future could look like. It could very well be like living in Babylon. Jocelyn Soriano, 2023, How Do You Live as a Catholic in a Godless World? Patios.com Unfortunately, our Catholic Church has weakened in its salvific role, become lukewarm, and lost its power because it is not breathing through the Holy Spirit anymore. It has also been contaminated by the evil one, becoming heartless. Davalos 2024, A Breacher's Life and the Birth of God, A Human Divine Connection, page 4. And... In this heartless world, our traditional families are endangered due to the immorality that is being promoted throughout our societies. The Heart of Jesus The Heart of Jesus is a portal, and if we pass through this portal, we will have access to His way, His truth, and His life. If we want to join Jesus, the first thing we need to do is to blend our hearts with His. In the heart of Jesus, His grace, His union with God. In his electronic book, The Fire in the Heart and the Light in the Head, Davalos 2023 maintained that we have a small flame inside our hearts that on more than one occasion has been in danger to disappear forever due to our sins. If this happens, we will turn into soulless individuals living like robots in this world without any empathy or compassion for our suffering humanity like through psychopaths who unfortunately exist in this dark world. 
this flame, the author continued, is the presence of God in our soul and the, at the same time the seat of the presence of Jesus and the Holy Spirit to guide us and protect us and that he sent us as a great gift once he returned with his Father to find our heart flame to grow its incandescence and emanation and melt this way the rock that our heart has become is unfortunately what has mattered least to us in our lives and raptured as we are with our body, this material world and the lies of Satan. And probably the most important reason we are not trying to find the little flame of our heart is that to achieve this we need to put the crown of thorns in it and this is painful. Page 5 if a man keeps his body outwardly free from lust and corruption and yet inwardly commits adultery before God by fornication in his thoughts, then there is no profit, whatever, in keeping the body pure. Nicephorus the Solitary, 1340, a most profitable discourse on sobriety and the garden of the heart, pages 22 to 34. Writings from the Philolachia on Prayer of the Heart, first published 1951. If we manage to acquire a pure heart, then, as San Saint Nectarius of Virginia asserted, our Father in Heaven will listen to our prayers, will grant us our requests that lead to our salvation, and will reveal itself to us teaching us the mysteries of the divine nature. Dr. Constantine Cavarnos, 1981, Modern Orthodox Saints, St. Nectarius of Aegina, Institute for Byzantine and Modern Greek Studies, pages 154-187. The Sacred Heart of Jesus is indeed an incalculable treasure containing in itself all the marvels riches of heaven and earth, in nature, grace and glory, in all the angels and saints, all his infinitely perfect virtues and all the gifts of the Holy Ghost, wherewith he was endowed. If you want to advance in this fallen world, you must find the rising fire, the rising fire of your heart, which with each sin you have committed has become increasingly reduced. By placing a crown of thorns, you can do it. This way, its renewed radiance will illuminate your mind and your rational intelligence with divine wisdom. As a result, you will know from a divine source how to act, what to think, what to say, what to avoid at every moment of your existence. This is what means to truly live always in this world by the will of your Father who is in heaven and also within your heart. Davalos 2023, The Fire in the Heart and the Light in the Head, page 3.